Okay, we're going to cook my steak with thyme butter and cream cabbage. Hopefully you've got your pan ready on the hob, but not turned on the heat for the, for the steak, and a pan of salted boiling water boiling ready for the, uh, the cabbage to go in. So let's get going. So if you've got your butter and your thyme, and just add the two together. And what we're going to do is just mash this up with a, a spoon and just mix it all together. Nice and simple. Right. You'll probably have a little bit more butter than what you'll actually need, but um, you can't actually make it any, any smaller, it gets too fiddly. Right. So take your cling film, and just a sheet of cling film, it doesn't matter rough, you know, it's that big. Just to pop on your, on your board, and then all you want to do is just spoon the, the butter and the thyme into the middle. Right. Right. And now you just want to wrap it up and we're going to shape it. So fold it over just once so you're so it's in the middle of it. And if you're watching how I'm doing this, you're just going to shape this roughly into like a, a disc, a sausage. And then just roll it up. Like that. And then just twist the ends and that'll make it more sausage-like. So twist the ends. Okay, so just pop it in the middle and then just, with your fingers, just pop it into like a rough sausage shape and just roll it up. It's nice and simple and then twist the ends and you'll get little discs shaped like this. Okay, hopefully it's still following me. That's the only, that's as difficult as it gets now so you can relax. So what we need to do is turn the pan on for the steak. We need to get that really nice and hot and just pop this in the fridge whilst we do everything else and we'll take this out at the last minute. Right, just getting rid of the butter and the thyme, you don't need that anymore and it'll just clutter everything up. So you've got your steak, and I usually find it's better to oil the steak first and don't put any oil in the pan. Um, it just makes it a really nice, you can get the heat in the pan and a really nice sort of um, caramelised coating to the steak. So you just need a little bit of oil, just you know, a teaspoon, and then just rub that in and then turn it over, and you should have enough oil on your hands just to rub the other side of the steak with the, with the oil. Now, just a little bit more on this. You can see it, it'll be nice and shiny when it's, um, when it's properly oiled. There we go. Now we just need to generously season it. So, a good pinch of salt and pepper on both sides. I always try when I'm handling sort of meat like this to try and keep one hand um, sort of for touching the meat and the other hand clean. Doesn't always work. A good pinch of salt and pepper on both sides. There we go. And then the same on the other side. Right, and we can take this over to the hob and get it cooking. So hopefully your pan's just starting to smoke like this. That's You really, really do want it nice and hot for the steaks. So we just pop them in. And you can hear that sizzle. That's a really good indicator that the pan's hot enough. And we're going to cook these medium. So all you need to do now is just go and get rid of your board and wash your hands.
cooking. You don't have to do anything with the, with the steak at the moment. You can just leave it cooking and we're going to pop the cabbage in. So take the cabbage and then just drop it into the, the boiling water. Just give it a little stir just to make sure that the, the cabbage is immersed in the water. And there's nothing really to do at this stage. So the steaks will be about another 30 seconds and then we'll turn them. But I'll show you what it should look like. Okay, that's been a minute and a half. Now that's about right for um, the thickness of steaks that we're using here. Because they're not very thick at all. You can see it, they're about a centimetre thick. If you want it sort of medium well done, then just leave them in for another 30 seconds. But I really recommend medium. So we'll turn them over now. And you can see that it's really, really nice and caramelised. See, so hopefully yours is looking like this now. You can see it's caramelised on the outside and that's fantastic flavour that we want. And now we just need to go and drain the cabbage and um, bring that back over to the hob. Right, we're just going to check the steak now. Now if you give it a press, you should be able to have a lot of give in it. And that will indicate that it's still nice and medium. So I think we're ready to, we're ready to take the steak out now. Again, if you want it um, medium well done, just leave it in for probably another 30 seconds, a minute, until when you press it, it feels reasonably firm. That's the good test. So we can take this out and leave them on the board. And you can hear me again. And we can get rid of your uh, get rid of your pan now and just leave your steaks to rest over on the, the work surface. Okay, now we just need to take the, get your other pan. If you haven't got that, go and get it now. This is to pop the cabbage in, and we're going to pop this on the heat. Okay, we just leave it to come up to the heat, just until you can feel it nice and hot with your hand on top. Obviously, be careful you don't burn yourself. Okay, that's about right. So we're just going to put just a tiny swirl of oil in the pan, and then in with the in with the cabbage. Just give this a stir round, and I've got this on full heat. So obviously, the cabbage is cooked now, but we're just adding the, uh, the heat back to it so that everything gets really, really hot for when we add the cream in. Okay, you can go and get your cream now and we'll add that into the pan.
Okay. So it's about 100 millilitres of the cream and just give it a stir through. And all we're going to do here is just leave it on the hob just to bubble away. And go and get your salt and pepper and we'll just give it a pinch of salt and a twist of pepper now. Okay, just a pinch of salt and a twist of pepper. And give it a stir. Go. Hopefully the cream is just starting to bubble now. That's exactly what we want. And we're almost ready to plate up. There we go. The cream's bubbling away. You can see everything nicely bubbling. So that's, it's all ready to go and we're ready to plate up. So if you take your cabbage over to the work surface. Right. So all we need to do now is grab one of the plates and take the butter out of the fridge. Hopefully it should have just firmed up just a little bit. You don't need it to be properly cold. Yeah, that's fine, so we can just set him aside. And if you take your cabbage, and just pop a spoonful of cabbage into the middle of the bowl or the plate. And another one. Go. And then all you need to do now is just sit the steak on top, like that. And then if you take your butter and unwrap it, you just need to put a little, just cut a little disc out of it. There we go. and then pop it on top of the steak and that will just melt with the heat of the steak and all the juices and the butter will melt in with the cabbage and that's it done, I hope you enjoy it